Okay, guys, it's Epic Plus Levitation here today with Epic Plus Pro, the leader of Epic Plus, and I, of course, am the founder. And today, we're going to be doing predictions, and who cares if matches are added later? We're doing predictions for Payback 2017. Now, now what's the first match you can see there? First match I can see is Neville versus Austin Aries for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Now, we can both tell he's going to win this. It's so obvious. Neville. Yeah, Neville. Austin Aries is a good... His... He was better at suicide. They should have brought him in as suicide. Nah. I rec- Austin Aries does kind of have a fighting chance against Neville. But, but I... then there's TJ Perkins. Yeah. You saw what happened today. It completely just... When it, when he had the upper hand on um, Neville, T.J. Perkins was there. So yeah, what's the next match? So the next match is Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt House's House of Horrors match for the WWE Championship. What does it mean if Bray Wyatt wins? Is he going back to SmackDown or what? That means Bray Wyatt goes to SmackDown. Randy goes to Raw. That is very interesting. Um. But I reckon Randy Orton should stay on SmackDown as champion. Because, think about it. Kind of makes sense Randy Orton saying SmackDown as champion. So I'm going to have to go with Randy Orton. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to go with... I'm going to have to go with... um. Uh, Randy Orton. Yeah. I mean, it's so obvious. I mean, it just doesn't seem like Bray's going to win. Yeah. Because Bray could go on to different matches, like, he could go on to face Finn Balor, for all we know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and he did in the what them last week. And uh, what's the next yeah. match? Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. Well, we're going to have Billy make some motions with this one. Yeah. Uh, I'm, on one hand, I'm a big fan of Roman Reigns. To this man, many people. I don't give a shit what they think. I mean, I'm entitled to like any whistle I like. But in the sense, it seems like the scene up born Troy and Brock Lesnar. So, so by that. But yet again, I've heard that they were sitting up Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar at next year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 34. Mm-hmm. So, maybe I'll go with Roman Reigns because it seems like that's the ultimate plan. That's yeah. what Paul Heyman was talking about in the first place. I reckon. Braun Strowman's just going to completely... Dominate most of the match. Dom- dominate most of the match. And but Roman Reigns... Reigns will... Roman Reigns will hit... Will come back... With and like yeah. Spears, Superman punches... I have a tables. prediction... That maybe he will turn heel at the end of the match... And and then maybe the shield reunites or something. Yeah, shield reunites maybe. Yeah, think about it. And yeah, that is much needed. Mention that. And one, and they all turn heel again. I reckon they do see the part better as heels. Yeah. Even Dean Ambrose and Wayne Wayne's. But she just having Seth Rollins as... Maybe having Seth Rollins as the face. That could still work. Uh, next match. The Hardy Boys versus Cesaro and Sheamus for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. Now, 3-2-1... Wait. In the same... Uh, the count of 3, 2, 1, we have to say who we're going to win. 3, three two, 2, 1, three, Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys. <laughs> it's quite obvious who's going to win. Oh my god. Cesaro and Sheamus do have a fighting chance. Yeah, but it's but this, just, this it's is the Hardy like, Boys we're talking about. Yeah, the Hardy Boys. Like, Jeff Hardy has gone and defeated <laughs> Undertaker. <laughs> yeah, so therefore, it's just, I, I don't see it. But what I do see, however, it looks like Sheamus may betray Cesaro. See, to see the way he's looking the at it. The only way I see Cesaro and Sheamus winning is Cesaro turns heel and they're both a heel tag team. Yeah. I mean, what's the next match now? Next match? Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. Oh, fuck. Oh. Um, one hand, I really want Seth Rollins to win, you know? But I see them just trying to swerve us and have Samoa Joe win. I reckon... Because he said... I reckon... I reckon no, let, let's just listen to one thing. He said that I will revenge Triple H... I will get revenge for what you did to Triple H in 70. Now, that kind of tells me already that it's ruined it right there. Mm. That's going to be some idea. I reckon Seth Rollins is going to come out with a victory. Yeah, I like it. Just yeah. barely, though. I don't like Samoa Joe, like Seth Rollins, but just 
seems to me like that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Next match. Next match. Bailey versus Alexa Bliss for the WWE Raw Women's Champion. This one is more obvious than ever. Obviously, Bailey, all she wanted to do was make a beat with some She did. She did. And now Alexa's come here. Got a number one contender shot out of nowhere. And it seems that this is pretty obvious. It's more than clearly obvious because Charlotte and SmackDown has all decided number one contender. Yeah. Now she's number one contender. It's obvious they're going to make Alexa Bliss champion on SmackDown. It's hilarious. And then they're going to make Charlotte probably champion on, champion on SmackDown at least on more. I reckon, I honestly think Alexa Bliss is going to come out with a victory. In yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, it's so obvious because Bailey, all she wanted to do was main event with man here. She's done that. Beanie done that. It seems like your time's over. But then there's Nia Jax. She said, I will get a championship. Hmm. Alright. Our next match. Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho for the WWE United States Championship. Now the, this, the winner, you really have the... Oh, 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 yeah. The winner will be transferred to SmackDown Live. Now you got to really think about this. Gotta really think about it. Kevin's got a different kind of persona going on right now. Mm. Where he's saying he's the face of a miracle. Now, he only just got that. To lose that at payback, the Pajirico on SmackDown when he actually like war bitter, it kind of. Now, let's look at a few possibilities. Maybe he doesn't like Sami Zayn, for example. That's been speculated that he was just lose on purpose. Yeah. Uh, but I reckon Kevin Owens is going to win, to be honest. Uh, because think about that. It just seems like Kim Nons is going to win. Chris Yoko is down more. And feud with Samoa Joe is what it seems like. He was down more after that and probably feud with Samoa Joe. That's all the matches it looks like. Really? So we got Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. Uh, Alexa Bliss versus Bailey. <coughs> no, we're forgetting... We're forgetting... Naomi and Charlotte. Hmm. No way. Wait, wait, no, that's on ex- that's on the, the SmackDown one. Oh, yeah. So we've got all the matches. And that seems like a boring pay per view, especially no. as far as uh, WrestleMania was concerned. There's so many great yeah. ones there, and then you have this. It's just, uh, I'm not too sure about that. I reckon the one. I reckon there's the three top matches are going to be Hardy Boys versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Which is sad that you're saying a tag team's the best match. One of the best matches. Normally, be. normally tag teams aren't considered the best match of the night. They're considered like maybe something to like fill in most times. I mean, top five matches. Yeah, but t- top three matches. If a tag team is a uh, top one of the top three matches, that's pretty sad. No, no, no. And in, in this pay per view, it's. So at number five in this in the pay, in the pay per view, I'd have Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. That's going to be a decent number match. five. <laughs> oh boy! Number what? four, I would have the tag team match. Number three. Number three, I would have Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. Number two. Number two, uh, um, I would have Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. And number one would be Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. I am, however, very curious about the House of Horrors. Mm, In my mind, at first, I thought it'd be like one of those crazy mirror houses. You know, like those Mm. crazy mirrors? Yeah. Um, But House of Horrors, he hasn't told us exactly what that's going to be. What kind of match is that exactly? I don't know. I mean... I'm hoping it'd be good, eh? Yeah, but the thing is, I don't like those kind of matches where you just don't know what the hell it is. It's like, you're not even giving the fans what that is. Our final thoughts going into these predictions? Yeah. What's your final thoughts going into payback? Hmm? What's your final thoughts going into payback? What do you mean? Your final thoughts for the video about going into payback, you know? Oh, uh, like... Like what I think about... Yeah. How this, I think the pay is going to be really well... Gonna, be put out really well. Now, what are some things you think need to happen at Payback? I reckon she'll need to be reunited. Yeah, reunited. yeah, definitely. Top priority. Or at least have Dean Ambrose turn heel on someone. 
Wait, hey, Dean Ambrose. Why isn't Dean Ambrose booked? Because he hasn't been... Wait, no. He's been in a feud with the Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. They would not... <laughs> no. Really? No, they were, they were doing it too late, so they didn't book it. Huh. Well, that's just stupid. Now that not only was it in the police show WrestleMania, but now it's not even booked in the next pay per view. What the fuck are they doing to that? They need to turn Dean Ambrose heel right away and get some recognition back to that yeah. title. Honestly, honestly, you know, I was honestly hoping for Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. Yeah. You, oh my no no Sasha Banks versus Bailey. Yeah. But I, what I do hope is that uh, maybe Bailey wins with chance and then, Sa- and then Sh- uh, Sasha comes out attacking her and then holds the belt in the air. Now, that would be awesome. Mm. Mention that. That would be shocking. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the podcast. Do you agree? Yeah. And we're signing out. Goodbye, guys.